Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Farmer Jolly and this is our Let's Play series on Moss Valley. We have spent quite a bit of time off screen finishing that massive contract. Uh, and I'm pleased to say it's done. It is completely and utterly finished. Everything has been sold that needed to be sold or delivered. I think we made about 6,000 extra on that. Sorry. I'm just wondering why I can't put any. Uh... We have. Have it. Just wondering why I won't uh, put any death in. There, there we go. <laughs> I was too, cl too close to it. Um, yeah, so we completely finished the contract. We still need to collect our money. Uh, and I was my chair's just falling apart on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was having a quick look, and field 32 looks like it's nearly ready to go. 33 is, I think, a stage, a couple of stages behind, and 28, I think, is probably one stage behind 32 and one in front of 33. Um, I don't know if. There's any uh, we've done a big bailing contract, so I think we'll leave bailing for now. There's some fertilising, but we do a lot of fertilising. So I think what we'll do is we'll collect our money. So we've got sixty-one thousand six hundred and sixty pounds just from that contract, which has given us a really nice profit. And we're going to reverse the Massey. It needs a good clean, actually. We'll do that first. We'll give it a really quick clean. We still need to put the New Holland away uh, and the cedar. So we'll do that in a second. But let's just reverse this, give it a quick clean. Um, and we're going to get this serviced because it's only got two months until its inspection. Oops, didn't mean to get in. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah, it's only got two month, months until it's inspection. And harvest is just around the corner, so I think we're going to need it. So the dirt's going down. If you look in the um, bottom right corner, the underneath damage, so the fourth one down, is dirt, and it's 45% uh, dirty. Uh, and that goes down nice and quickly and then we've got a nice shiny clean tractor just like that so now we can pull this it does need lubricating grease so we'll fill that up might as well give it a full service let's just bring that to here and that is refilling the grease I think we're going to need some more grease soon There we go, so let's bring this into the workshop and then we're going to need the skid steer to bring a pallet in, might as well go back relatively far, actually there's quite a lot of space in here. So let's park that there and go and get the skid steer, which is hiding around the corner. Um, put it in cab view so we can see what we're doing a bit better. I'm, I'm pleased we got this, it's uh, coming in very handy. Especially when it's such a tight map. There we go. Lovely. Let's uh, bring this round. Now with the um, two 
big tractors that we have leased and the combine, we completed their services in the, I think it was the last episode or the episode before. So they are all good. We'll uh, just park the skids to here for now and jump back into the Massey and then we will go control J and we need to start an inspection. During an inspection, I've never read this actually, the, the vehicle is checked for hidden damage, damage so that they can be repaired, however it takes an hour and will be completed at 8.11 if the inspection has started. Now it must be paused until 7 o'clock. Uh, right, because it's still quarter, only quarter past 6 in the morning, we um, it won't start the inspection until 7 o'clock and then it'll be done just after 8. So. What I'll do is I will have a bit of a break here and I'll see you once the inspection's completed. So I'll see you in a second. All right, welcome back from that very short break. The inspection has completed. It's five past eight. It actually finished smack on eight o'clock. So, and it found two extra damages. So if I air push control J and bring this up, we have a total of five damages. Now, the nice thing is, I can't remember if I've explained this before, but with the realistic damage mod, you can choose how many damages you want to repair. We might as well repair all of them. So that's five damages and it's gonna complete the job at approximately 20 to six in the evening. So we'll repair those damages. And while that's doing that, we will run over to the New Holland and quickly get this cleaned. I need to figure out where I'm actually going to store it as well because it's quite a large piece of equipment, especially as well. So, especially, it's not going to help if I keep crashing. Right, let's try this again. It's a very it's, it's massive to take down the lanes, but when you're in the fields, especially the big fields, it's actually not that big. So let's just back this up. That'll do there. Might as well shut the engine off, and that's absolutely plastered in lime. Right, let's pull the hub back up. Let's grab the. Uh, power wash and let's get this all nice and clean it won't take too long we're already down to 60% already for the um, for the planter I know I can keep the, uh, keep the sprayer in one position but I think it's more realistic if you uh, move it around we'll come back, to, we'll do the track the last, let's get the weight done Everything is a hundred percent covered in dirt. We need to try and take a bit, bit better care of the tractors, especially the ones that we can, we actually own and aren't leased. Uh, we do though need to have a quick look, which we'll do just after we've finished cleaning the this and putting everything away. We need to have a look as to whether um, the price for interest um, has come down and if it has we need to see if it's more cost effective to um, take out a bank loan and buy all of our leased equipment so let's try and carefully reverse this back down because I'm being lazy and don't want to go and turn around Apparently, I can reverse it down a gap fine, but driving it is a different story. Alright, let's see if we can find somewhere to park this. Hoping there's space in this shed where this tractor used to be parked. And it's going to be... Oh, and we crashed. Yeah, see, I, I can clearly do reverse. 
but just not for you. I say that, and now I've got to reverse this into a tight gap. So, probably famous last words. So I don't even know if this is going to fit. Let's uh, take our time. Yeah, I don't think this is going to fit. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> we'll quit while we're ahead. We're leaving it there. <laughs> it's not going to fit in any of our sheds. Uh, actually, what we can do is... No, we'll do that on the... I was going to say we need to take... We need to clean the header. Actually, has the header been repaired? Let's just take this tractor up and have a quick look. Because if it hasn't, we might be best to run that to the store and repair that. Right, where's my uh, header trailer? About here. Uh, no. Okay, I was close. Right. This also needs some lubricating grease. So we will attach to that, jump out, and let's have a quick look. So, it doesn't actually look like it's damaged, it just looks like it needs a good clean. We'll leave that there for now. And. While we're here, we'll have a quick look at these fields. So, yeah, that's growth stage four of four. If we were doing forage, yield potential, expected yield 80%, potential 80%. Uh, 79 is what was actually the expected, not uh, 80, but it's near enough. And um, let's have a quick look at this one, which is seven out of eight, still growing. So that looks really promising. What we we will actually um, might as well run this to the store quickly, just because otherwise we're going to need it tomorrow or in, tomorrow in game, and it's going to need to be taken to be serviced. So we might as well run and get this done really quickly. Hopefully, by the 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 fact that um, the oh, we crashed. There we go. I'm free. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I was going to say. Hopefully, the fact that all of the crops seem to be ready at different times this year, that might make harvest just a little bit easier for us. Because if I remember correctly, last in-game year the two massive fields that we've got on our land were ready to be harvested at the same time. I think they were the same crop as well. No, they were, I think they were different. I think one was barley and one was wheat, um, actually. But yeah, they were ready at the same time. And obviously we've got one combine and one trailer. We've got plenty of tractors, but yeah, it wasn't the greatest because we were rushing and working late into the night to get everything done. Whereas this year, we can hopefully just do them one at a time. So we need to bring this into the repair trigger, which is this box here. There we go. Let's jump out. New Holland towing a class. <laughs> Or class header anyway. I'm sure the New Holland dealership that we're at are going to love that. So let's. I can't repair it because it's leased. But it doesn't actually. It's only paint that's bad. Apparently. Okay. That's. That's interesting. Uh, while we're here, let's have a quick look. Let's see what the. The um, interest at 3.6, we need that at l like lower than 2. So we are not buying our equipment. Is there anything that, while we're here, we need 
that's in the sale. That would be nice, but we don't need another tractor. Um, no, I can't see anything that we actually need. So, what we'll do is not crouch. We'll go back round, jump back into the tractor. Take this straight back to the yard. We'll get it cleaned. And... I think we will progress into the next month. The Massey will have been, or the service of the Massey will be finished, and hopefully we can start harvest. So, I will see you in a bit. Welcome back. So, we are in July and we are ready to start harvesting. Field 32 is or needs to be harvested so let's just drop off the um, corn header oh no we don't want to go forwards we want to go backwards and let's bring ourselves out of the cab view so we can see what we're doing there we go then back into cab view and we have the lovely little map that shows us exactly where we are in the game, which is absolutely brilliant. So uh, that class screen there shows us the um, map of the game. So if I, well, I'll do it in a second. I need to move this tractor out of the way, which actually also needs a service. stuck on. There we go. Right, so we're out. Yeah, this is this only has one month left. So that's gonna need a service. So back to the combine. That's just oh, it looks amazing. I can't get over how good that combine looks. So let's jump back in. Let's come out of the cab view. We'll get this unfolded and fired up. So if I now that we know we are unfolded, if I start to come forwards, oh, we need to. We just pull the HUD up. I need to check I'm uh, producing straw. Uh, I actually know if we can produce straw, so we will. Just go forwards. We can produce straw by the looks of it. There we go, and we are. There we go. So, harvest is underway. I think we'll get a couple of headlands done. We need to try not to miss things. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do a lot of this, I think, in third person. But I put this into a time lapse and we will crack on and hopefully we'll get most of this field done. Um, we might set it off on a worker. Um, is there any other contracts that need to be done? Let's have a quick look. Because we can always set... Baling, baling, baling. Load of fertiliser. Ooh, 50,000. Field 19. I will... accept that contract, but we won't do it just yet. We will, like I say, we'll put this into a time lapse uh, and we'll get as much done as we can. I can I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but we will do our very best. So, I will see you in a bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back from that really short time lapse. I've just had an idea. I'm gonna pull the HUD up and we're going to set this off on a worker. So uh, 7.7 for the, for the simple reason that we wanna go sharp, I think. And start with the headland, generate. start. I know it's going to go over a couple of places it's already been, but by doing this we can we're on field, which field are we in? Is it 32? 32. So we can save this course. So if I go field 32 and then save course to here and go harvesting we can now jump out of that track we'll find the massy actually there we go maintenance complete damage is now zero so we can go and get our baler which is just around the corner Or crash. It's quite a big dip down there. So we can reverse this up. And there is some sort of uh, method to this, not to the crashing into the pole again. Um, but by having that on a worker and it doing its thing that way we can get two jobs done at the same time because we can go here load that course into the tractor and then if we bring this around that was close bring this tractor down to the start as long as I set its cruise control down to probably six I reckon because we want the uh, combine to get further away we can go first waypoint a little bit too close but this tractor is now going to think that we are in the combine so if we now jump out of so yeah uh, is it going to do it properly? It might miss the odd bit, but for the most part, it's bailing. So, I just wondering actually, is that a good vantage point? If we go on top of one of the wind turbines, is that going to be a really nice view to watch the to time lapse the field being harvested? Let's have a look. Looks like a good crop yield. So I think if we go up to the top of these, we, it will be a nice view to watch from. So I will do that 
I will see you in a second. Right, I will put this into a time lapse and we'll see how much of the fill we can get done. We might need to bump the speed up on the uh, Massey, but for now we'll leave it like that. So, I'll put this back into the time lapse and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back from that time lapse. As you can see, uh, I did forget that we would have to unload the combine, hence why we didn't stay in the same place. Um, and likewise, by setting uh, the baler off, I had also forgotten that the combine's likely to uh, get stuck. So, hence why we have to jump into the skids there. I'm not overly sure how much or how full the combine is. <laughs> Just <laughs> we'll catch it at some point. It's a race. It uh, looks like the combine's giving off quite a lot of uh, black smoke. And yet it's just been serviced, so it might need to be, go back into the workshop to have a be well, to look into it, that's the words I'm trying to find. And another bale. I really didn't think this bit through. Let's keep following it for a minute. This skidster is getting its. Uh, and you're going to want to go right where that trailer is, aren't you? Don't crash into the trailer, please. Okay, you want to be unloaded. Let's park the skid steer here. And jump into 
this and the engine is on and now we've got a bell in the way we will unload it because we've we'll run over this good stuff it makes sense to unload it now I couldn't uh, push that bell with the tractor. I should have thought of that. Right, so we'll leave that unloading. We're going at the skid steer. Ooh, more way up in the air. Get the skid steer again. And we'll move that bell. There it is. We uh, reverse stop going way too quick. Reverse, and now we can go forward to it here. There you go, that was a bit better. <laughs> Where's the combine? Let's tab over to it. So the combine is now empty. And hopefully it's going to start the up and down rows. There's going to be another bell that's going to have to be moved. I might have to unload the... Um, unload the silage bales and load up some of these straw bales from the headlands. But yeah, we are not doing too badly. We've we're getting quite a good yield. If I jump into this and bring the HUD up, two full combines or nearly full combines, I should say, it's giving us about fifty percent. We do need to move out of the of this way though. Uh, what's the skitter? Just nudged it. Okay. Um. Yeah. We're not. I think we're going to get quite a good yield off this. Actually, we can have a quick look, can't we? If we bring up the precision farming, so it's loamy sand. I don't actually know if that's good or not, but the environmental score is pretty good. Um, have I got two for this? I don't know whether it's that or that um see if we can work this out so it's used 26.6 tons of lime 2.2 tons of fertilizer 1.3 tons of seed yields i think so far we've got 60 tons off it is that what that means or is that no uh, i'm not sure anyway let's do this yield so what are we on 90% yield obviously we'd like to be up here but considering this is the first time we've actually done anything in this field with our fertilizer that's not bad going and we've got two things going at once which is absolutely lovely to see so I think we'll uh, leave it there for now I will crack on and get a little more of this or get some more of this field done but yeah it's gonna be a busy harvest when we've got field 32 which is only 5.9 hectares whereas field 33 is 11.7 .7, and that's gonna be ready I think in the next month or so Actually, we should have done. We should have had a look at that's ready to harvest as well. Yeah, we've got a busy month this month. It could be worse. We could have field thirty-three as well. What's in this field? Is it wheat? Yeah. Okay. So we need to finish field thirty-two, and then we need to get all the kit straight over to field twenty-eight. I'm wondering if we're going to be better to invest in another trailer. So we've currently, this one, 
can hold 34 uh, cubic meters. Is there a trailer popped up here? No. Do we have? So that's the trailer. Oh no, that's the trailer that we've got at the moment. Uh, don't tell me the uh, combine's run out of fuel. I think it has. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, we've run out of fuel completely. Oh no. <laughs> right. <laughs> Change of plans. We need desperately. Is there one that does both the add blue and the um, fuel or not? That does. Okay. Right. So. We'll go for the Nokian tires. Uh, we might as well take the we'll take those off. Yeah, we're going to leave everything else the same. Let's let's just buy it. It's a shame we don't have a little car. How, how, what speed's that got? Forty miles an hour. I'd love that. I'd love to have like a little pickup truck or something. But I just think it would be silly. The, that's not, I might get that actually. We'll turn that off or we don't need, uh, no, we will keep that on. Yeah, 14,000 is not bad. 12 and a half even, sorry. Yeah, oops, not, not, not least. We'll buy that. Right, and then, to finish this episode off, let's jump into this. And pray that this actually itches up to the trailer. It should do. Yes, it does. Right. The small but mighty Kubota. be on its way if I can get back on the road to rescue our harvest can't believe we did that we ran out of fuel I should have checked that before we started that's absolutely ridiculous I can't really can't believe I did that oh well we live and learn Let's just race back. Well, I think we chose the right skid steer here. Not skid steer, this is the um, RTV, isn't it? I've just looked at the name and I've already forgotten. And I've also just noticed that. I hope that's the wrong button. That our um, time was on times three. I must have. Uh, accidentally push the wrong button at some point. Right, let's bring this up here. Let's refuel. There you go, we are refueling the diesel. We're going to have to get more diesel at some point. I don't know how much this takes or how much the combine takes. But it does fill up slowly. And the nice thing is this trailer looks like it can take both at the same time. Right, I will get this sorted, fill the trailer up with fuel and the add blue, and we'll get the combine refueled and harvesting again. But for now, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's for watching this video and an even bigger thank you to everyone that's subscribed recently. It really does mean a lot to me. As always, I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, it would mean a lot if you'd like the video and even subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. 
And hopefully, if you have enjoyed the episode, we will see you back here for the next one. Bye for now.